Hi guys, it's Karen here with you today and today I'm going to share with you a page in my Large Dilutions journal using this beautiful rice paper here from Art by Marlene. Now the page that I have in mind I have seen done previously before. I'm not sure who's done it but it looks so cool so I wanted to um, do one myself but mine's probably a little bit different from the other person's. Anyway, so I've just glued down my rice paper onto my page with a bit of matte medium and I'm just drying drying it off. Um, and yeah, so I was going to watercolour my background but then I changed my mind and decided to use my paper artsy paints. Um, so I've just pulled out the colours which I think will match in quite nicely. And I'm going to start off with the with the night sky. So I've got some, I think it's Blueberry, Midnight um, by Tazzler, something purple. <laughs> and I can't think what the lighter purple is, maybe mauve. Anyway, so I'm just going to do some finger painting. And I'm actually very surprised that how how well I matched up these colors here it was like oh my goodness look at that they're, they're almost perfect so I've just gone over the edges of the rice paper as well with the paint just to help blend that bit in a little bit better as well and um yeah I'm I'm like oh wow I wonder if Marlene actually used paper artsy paints when she painted this girl maybe who knows but it looks really cool so I'm pretty happy with that now I picked out some greens um, I can't remember what all the greens are but there is a slimed in there and there's also like a turquoise so I did pretty well with the ground as well like check that out I'm super impressed with myself for getting that fairly well matched in quite nicely with the rice paper so I've just almost finished here. I'm just putting on a little bit of turquoise for the ground that she's standing on. And there. How cool is that? I am wrapped. Um, I didn't expect it to come out quite as good as what it did actually. But there you go. So yeah. Pretty, pretty happy that I decided to use my paper artsy paints in the end instead of watercolour. So because I've got a bit of paint quite a bit of paint left over I've grabbed out a Art by Marlene stencil and I'm going to stencil into the nighttime sky and the grass with some of these leftover colors that I've got and what I'm doing is I'm just kind of mushing the colors together on my sponge so I've got a little bit of each color in there before I um, sponge it onto my background and same I'm doing down here with the grass just adding in just a little bit extra pattern that you really can't really tell that's there but it is there and I got to use up some more of that excess paint so I've just grabbed out a dilution star dent stencil dental stencil um so that I can add some more stars into my night sky so that's what I'm doing there and again I'm using some of that leftover greeny yellow paint because that kind of matched in quite well so because it's a bit of a nighttime sky, I decided to grab out this Art by Marlene stamp and stamp the moon with the little hanging stars on it. So I'm stamping it onto some watercolour paper, that's just what I had handy, and um, some archival ink. So that's what that is. And I'm going to give it a quick dry before I actually add some watercolours onto it. But before I do that, I'm going to fussy cut it out, but I've chopped some of this out so... <laughs> You don't have to watch me persevering trying to fussy cut with acrylic nails. And yeah, acrylic nails and crafting is a little bit tricky, I've discovered. Anyway, so I've got out these watercolours that I was going to use and I painted my moon. So now I'm just going to glue that in with a bit of art glitter glue. So that looks pretty cool. Pretty happy with that. So now I've got out a Life of Colour paint pen. So these are only new to me, these Life of Colour paint pens. Um, I got some black and white ones in these finer tipped ones. And I also got some regular ones just in some other colours. I think they're called the special colours. And so far, I am really wrapped with them. They, they work every single time so far. Awesome. 
I think that would become my favourite. Um, yeah, and they're an Australian company, so I'll put the link down in the, de the description box. So if you want to get some Life of Colour pens, you can follow that link and get some. They are cool. So um, I've decided to add in some flowers into my uh, grass. And again, I'm using a different Art by Marlene stamp to do that and some archival ink. And then I've got my Life of Colour pen and I'm just going to draw some leaves on those stalks for the flowers. Just so they look a little bit prettier. I've got another Life of Colour pen here in a hot pink. So I'm just going to scribble that in the middle of the flowers and get it dry. And then I'm going to add in a paler pink over the top. So yellow here for the daisies. A bit of green in the leaves. All these are... Life of Colour pens, so yeah, I really like them. And then I thought I'd add some watercolour onto these ones here with a mermaid marker from Jane Davenport, but I um I put a little bit too much, so I had to wipe it off and start again. And then, yeah. <laughs> anyway, it's on there. <laughs> ah, okay, so now I'm going to start writing my quote after I've just coloured in a little toothy peg that pokes out there and it says when you wish upon a star makes no difference who you are anything your heart desires will come to you if your heart is your dream no request is too extreme when you wish upon a star as dreamers do so I've just scribbled it out um yeah <laughs> with my scribbly writing with that life of um color white pen because it was nice and fine and then I'm going over it with a thicker um, this is a Posca pen because you know that one hasn't died yet <laughs> so I've still got that one going and um, yeah I'm just going to thicken it up a little bit so I've zoomed it in so you can kind of see what I'm writing there um, and then I'm going to go over it again here in a minute with a with a black rollerball pen so there we go there so I just dried it off before I added the rollerball pen just to make sure that it was 100% dry and I wasn't going to clog up my rollerball. So yeah, it's looking cool. I'm pretty happy with it. Okay, so the last thing that I'm going to do is add some silver splashes with a little fan brush and some silver acrylic ink. So I've just watered it down a little bit and splattered it everywhere. So there we go. Here's some close-ups of my page. I really hope you have enjoyed watching my video. I'm really super impressed with how this one turned out. I really love it. And to whoever the person was who has done a page or art journal cover very similar to this, thank you very much. You have inspired me. Sorry, I can't remember what your name is. <laughs> okay, so please like and subscribe. And until next time, I will see you later. Bye.